Welcome to Fast German from Speaksly.com. Hi. The day I have been dreading has finally come. I have to do the speaking part of my German language proficiency test to see if I'm at level A1, A2, or B1. I just hope that the examiner doesn't ask me what language I'm trying to speak. I've done some research to prepare for this so let me break it down for you. When you're gearing up for your oral exam, here's what you should be ready to chat about. First off, make sure you can introduce yourself smoothly. You know, the basics like saying hi and telling them your name, age, where you're from, and what you do. Next, it's good to be prepared to dive into personal stuff. You'll want to talk about your background, the place you call home, how long you've been living there, and all that jazz. They might also ask about your family, friends, and the stuff you're into. Moving on, you'll likely need to discuss your job. What kind of work you do, where you work, and what tasks you handle. They might even ask about what you like about your job and if there's anything you're not too thrilled about. Then, be ready to chat about your hobbies and what you enjoy doing in your free time. Whether it's reading, music, sports, or anything else you're into, be ready to share. After that, they might want to know about your daily routine. What your typical day looks like, your morning routine, your work, and how you spend your evenings. Next up, planning ahead is key. You should be able to talk about your future plans, whether it's meeting up with pals, going to events, or anything you're looking forward to. Following that, get ready to express your likes and dislikes. You'll want to say what you enjoy and don't really enjoy and give a couple of reasons for your choices. Food, movies, anything goes. Next, you should be able to share some experiences you've had from trips you've taken to events you've been part of. It's your chance to tell one or two interesting stories and let your personality shine through. This next part might or might not come up in your actual exam, unless you know where the bathroom is and the dude giving you the test doesn't, but at the B1 level, you should know how to ask for directions and give them too. You know in case you're lost or you need to help someone else find their way. Also, they could throw in some shopping and food talk. Be prepared to discuss what you want to buy or how to order food in a restaurant. And if you like drumsticks, don't be afraid to say it. Just don't eat them during your exam. Much of the oral exam could be impromptu or unstructured, so don't forget that you can talk about your skills and what you're good at if you see a place to work it in. Like my killer gaming skills. Whether it's something related to work or just a talent you've got, talk about it with passion. Remember that the examiner just wants to see you speak comfortably about familiar and common topics. Oh, and by the way, you might get into comparing things, saying how things are similar or different. Like how it's easier to learn to play the guitar. Compared to a banjo. And then, being able to express your needs and make requests is pretty important. Whether you need help or something else, know how to ask for it. Don't be scared, but they might throw in some what would you do. If. Situations. Just be ready to discuss what you'd do under certain scenarios. Lastly, you'll want to be able to talk about your preferences again, what you like and don't like. Sharing your feelings about things is a part of the game. Try to pick topics that will appeal to the examiner, like what you like about learning German or living in a German-speaking country. And if you're not quite in love with the German language yet, this is not the time to mention that. Also, be ready to describe your surroundings. Talk about the places you know, whether it's your neighborhood, town, or city. Giving directions and explaining where things are can come up too. At the B1 level, you might need to discuss your health a bit. If you go to the doctor, you would need to describe any symptoms you might have and ask for advice if needed. So, be prepared to talk about your health and what you do to stay healthy or what you do to relax. Oh my gosh. He's coming. I can't do this. 
Good afternoon. Guten Tag. What's your name? How are you called? Wie heißen Sie? And where are you from? Und woher kommen Sie? Good afternoon. Guten Tag. My name is Jennifer. Mein Name ist Jennifer. It's nice to meet you. Freut mich, Sie kennenzulernen. I'm American. Ich bin Amerikanerin. I'm from the US. Ich komme aus den USA. Where were you born? Wo sind Sie geboren? Ich wurde in Texas geboren. Tell me about your family. Erzählen Sie mir von Ihrer Familie. And your interests. Und Ihren Interessen. I have a sister. Ich habe eine Schwester. Named Rebecca. Namens Rebecca. She lives in the US. Sie lebt in den USA. Near my mom. In der Nähe meiner Mutter. My parents are divorced. Meine Eltern sind geschieden. My father lives in Texas. Mein Vater wohnt in Texas. He is retired from the military. Er ist vom Militär pensioniert. I am since nine years. Ich bin seit neun Jahren. Married to a Swiss man. Mit einem Schweizer verheiratet. I have many hobbies and interests. Ich habe viele Hobbys und Interessen. In my free time. In meiner Freizeit. I go with my new van camping. Gehe ich mit meinem neuen Van campen. Tell me more. Erzählen Sie mir weiter. About your interests. Von Ihren Interessen. I am writing a novel. Ich schreibe einen Roman. What is your novel about? Worum geht es in deinem Roman? It's about a woman who passes her German test. Es geht um eine Frau, die ihre Deutschprüfung besteht. <lacht> I like to cook together. Ich koche gerne zusammen. With my husband. Mit meinem Mann. What do you do for a living? Was machen Sie beruflich? I work in social media. Ich arbeite in den sozialen Medien. <coughs> for a medical device company. Für ein Unternehmen für medizinische Geräte. Do you do any sports? Treiben Sie Sport? Yes, I do yoga and I scuba dive. Ja, ich mache Yoga und ich tauche. So, what else do you want to know? Was möchten Sie noch wissen? I still have some questions. Ich habe noch einige Fragen. Do you have pets? Haben Sie Haustiere? I have a cat, two dogs and a parrot. Ich habe eine Katze, zwei Hunde und einen Papagei. Last question. Do you have children? Letzte Frage. Haben Sie Kinder? My husband has the maturity of a five-year-old. Does that count? Mein Mann hat die Reife eines Fünfjährigen. Zählt das? OMG! He's laughing at me! I just know it! Hey! Don't laugh at my German! This was Fast German from Speaksly.com. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to the Speaksly channel, follow us on social media, then watch this next video we've selected just for you.